Hey everybody, welcome to Birds of Play. Today we're talking about Halo coming to PC. We're also going to talk about Google revealing their Stadia console. What is it? And a couple good new games you might be excited about. This is Birds of Play episode 72. Life is strange. Just a hunk of meat that wants to kill everything in the past. Yeah, me by far, far none. Not even close. I mean, so that was sick. You already got the Birds of Play, episode, I'm guessing 72, I don't know, I don't really. 72. 72. Um, <laughs> so today we're talking about some video games. Who would have thought? I'm Nathan Dean. Oh uh, yeah, I guess we should introduce everyone. I'm Ryan Taronis, joined by... Matthew Willard. <laughs> Hanky Graham. I'm Nathan Dean. Oh my god. Um, so this is, uh, this is our show, we talk about games here. That's a gaming show. So let's start off with the big one that we've been gone since like spring break and everything. We got to catch up on the news. Whoop. We got a big, big, uh, big, big release for us PC boys. Halo, baby. It's finally here. It's finally. Been, it's been, finally. I mean, we've had like Halo 1. And two. That's Halo two. 1, two. Two. Halo 2, Vista. Windows and, Vista. Uh, I miss Vista. Halo Wars, but you don't talk about yeah, Halo Wars. Nobody talks about Halo Wars. Halo Wars 1 is okay. <laughs> 2, we don't talk about it. You don't talk about it. So, um, What's the reaction, guys? What are we feeling? How do we feel about Halo on PC? I am excited. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I'm a huge Halo nerd here. I absolutely love Halo, and that's like a dream come true right now, especially with Halo Reach re-releasing on PC. That is insane. They probably yeah. cried. It's, uh, I almost did. So we're going to get... It's going to come out chronologically, so we're going, you know, Reach, Reach. 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2... ODST, I think they said it was three. Reach, Halo 1, 2, 3... Three ODST, four. Why is Reach uh, first? And we don't have to, oh, we don't have to worry about it. We're yeah, releasing the worst really ones cool. last. Yes. Except, I mean, Halo 3 was <coughs> well, one of the best. No, no, I'm saying like last, like Halo 4, and five, Halo 4 and 5. Yeah. Well, I think are they, that's not included, is it? I don't know. Either way, don't, don't, don't include those two because who gives a crap about those two? <laughs> so no, um, it's all about it's all about two, three Reach and ODST. One is great, but I it doesn't have. Fantastic multiplayer like the others do. As our friend said, it is a game about hallways. Hey, it's the hallways. Hallways, <laughs> hallways one. one. Um, so yeah, I think I mean I'm I love Halo as uh, like Matt. I've been playing it ever since I was a kid. I missed out on a lot of these. Uh, you know, I, I want to say kitty, but I guess <laughs> Nintendo games as a kid <laughs> because I was just playing Halo. I was killing those grunts, baby. I, I appreciate the guy at a GameStop. In was it 2004 or whatever the Halo 2 came out 2005? Yeah, he's probably watching something like that. He's probably watching. The show. I know he's watching. So <laughs> at this GameStop, it, when Halo 2 came out, I was like, "Mom, I want it," and she's like, "No, there's like gore and you know there's blood in the game." And we talked to the guy there. He's like, "Oh no, it's like alien blood. It's all blue, so it's fine." I'm like, "She's like, oh okay, thank you, man. You really you, you <laughs> thank you, sir. So that's what started <laughs> This it all. is why I'm where I am. Um, I, I think it, Halo 3 like holds my record for the longest." multiplayer game I've ever played yeah. because I played it oh, from yeah. when it came Years. out. Mm -hmm. came out in what, 05? Is it 07. 07. Is it Halo 5 or Halo 3 is 07? 07. 07. 07. So yeah, Halo 3 is, I'm thinking when the Xbox, the Xbox 360 came out. 3, yeah, 360 came out. But then Halo, yeah, when Halo 3 came out in 07, I played it until probably seven years because I played it until like the PS4 came out yeah. and it I was... started getting away from the 360. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that I game mean, is just great. We played Custom game. I mean, just you can just spend hours. I, I spent nights. The forge, just yep. forging oh, away until like maps. five a.m. We were just doing like different People custom come up games, with cool mazes stuff. and crap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic. Grip, game. Grip ball is the best. Grip ball is the greatest thing oh, yeah. in the world. That, that is a fantastic. So I'm ready. You know, being the PC elitist now that I am, <laughs> I, I'm happy that uh, we can. I because I've been craving some Halo, so I'm very excited for it. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I mean, me personally, I'm most excited that Halo reaches first. Yeah. Uh, Halo Reach oh, yeah. personally is my favorite Halo. I, I spent a lot more time in <laughs> Halo 3, but the memories I have from Halo Reach are just so much more because that was when I was like really, really into Halo. Mm -hmm. Halo Reach um, was awesome. Yeah, it was was I, I mean, it's I last still, one made by Bungie. My, my problem is like, I w I'm all about the story, and Halo Reach is one of the most memorable stories for me. Uh, I just remember like almost every single detail from that. 
So that's why I stole one of my Good thing ones. everybody makes it out in the end. <laughs> all of them. They all live. They all live. <laughs> you see them in every other game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just some of the memories I have from Halo Reach is awesome. And I'm excited to see what it looks like on PC. Oh, yeah. I was actually playing uh, with one of our friends, Trey. I was playing Halo 1 again. And I started. we started debating how they would... How hard is it to make a game to where you take the old graphics and then by a click of a button you switch to the remastered graphics? For the programming, I wonder how difficult that is to do. Well, that's what 2 did like Something when they remastered like that. 2. That's they what don't. Halo 1 Anniversary did and then Halo 2 Anniversary did. Yeah. But just the fact that. that you have to completely When's Halo change 3 the anniversary? by pushing one button. God, it still looks good today. I mean, Damn. we went back through it and me and my friend Devin, we played it. We played the bad. whole campaign and I think under three hours on Legendary. And with our friend Trey, too. And it was, uh, it, it was, it still looked a beautiful Ryan, game. That's my That bit. was him. <laughs> it's my bit, Nathan. <laughs> um, but I was more of a PlayStation guy growing up. So Halo 3 was kind of like a... I jumped consoles. I never stuck to one brand. Yeah, same I, here. I played, I played PlayStation 1 and 2 so much growing up that I did not have an original Xbox. I didn't have any. It was all about PlayStation. Just played your Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> oh, it was all about Crash Bandicoot. Crash Spyro, Spyro, Jack Spyro. and Daxter, all yeah. those. It's like... Um, and they, when I kind of started hearing about Halo 3, people were talking about it in like elementary school. And the hallways I, of elementary like, school, they talked like, of this not tale. On, that's not on PlayStation, what's Halo tale, 3? Halo 3. So then I you know, started playing at a friend's house and getting used to that and fell in love with it. Asked for a 360 for Christmas one year and then it kind of grew from there. So excited to see it come full circle, but back to the PC days now. Dude, mm-hmm. What a time. Um, um, well, speaking about uh, gaming and the future of gaming. Google St- Stadia, I was gonna say Stadia. Google Stadia was announced at GDC, right? Mm-hmm. That's, the, that's, the, that's the acronym. So, um, Isn't this like Google's like version of like PlayStation Now? It's like Google's it's version streaming, of online. It's streaming games. Like a Steam online. almost, right? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's like, it's like uh, was it PS Now? PS- so yeah, PS Now is kind of like where you stream the games from yeah. a server. Uh, PlayStation Now. You've actually experienced it more than what you were telling me. I've, I've tried PS Now before. Have, it, have is tried not, it? it does not work well. I have tried work. PlayStation <laughs> Now and Game Pass. And as a PlayStation fanboy, I'm willing to admit that Game Pass is far better than PlayStation Now was. Because I have not the best internet, but the internet connects so well with Game Pass because it was like downloading the game and everything. PlayStation Now was strictly streaming the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... God of War was running at maybe two frames a second. That's yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't. You couldn't even. Like I tried to, I tried to play like Bloodborne on it, and it's like mm, not it's, with your internet. It's definitely reliable <laughs> on your internet connection, and that's what they came out with Stadia, and they said it's like a required twenty-five megabits per second. Not gonna work in my apartment. So, and that's not very like. Take this Netflix to stream movies. Mm-hmm. That is on a ten eighty p movie. Is about 10 megabits per second. So double that. So those are the requirements. On that's this? the required connection you need. They're gonna make see that. I feel like what this is, what they're doing here is they're just gonna push out Google Fiber, and they're just gonna push probably. Their, their internet yeah, so probably. hardcore because of the requirements. They're like, hey, if you, you want to play these yeah. cool games on these kind of frames, I feel like it's just internet. it's such a cool idea, and it's you know it's been done before, but. I guess I should, if we're going to give anyone the benefit of the doubt, it should be Google because of all the <laughs> resources and money they have. But yeah, it, I think it just depends on everyone's internet if we have the latency ability to <laughs> run these things. What they, I, was there an expectation of release date of this? They said this year. It's going to release by yeah. the end of this yeah. year. Probably but the holiday, thing... Right? So, it's, so it's not a console. It's like a no. program. It's like, just think of, you, think of an app. It's, like a, it's literally it's an app. An app. Yeah. yeah. And if you go to the app, you can play the games from the app, or they're trying to integrate it with YouTube as well. Yeah. So if you're like, watching a trailer, they, I mean, what are, they, are they, I mean, are these, are these just going to be like indie games? Like what no, are we no like they showed off Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Mm-hmm. That was like the oh, one really? game they, like Doom we Eternal. got Assassin's Creed on this yeah. thing. So Doom Eternal is going to be on it. They showed it to where like you're watching a trailer of Odyssey, uh, like a gameplay tra- gameplay trailer, and you can um, you can click <laughs> on like the little Stadia logo and you can jump into the game right where that trailer is and play like five minutes or something just to like demo it um and there's no confirmed like how they're going to launch like you know what is it going to be like a monthly subscription fee mm-hmm. is it a, a you got to buy i don't know um so that's all going to come later i think but it's a. Uh, but it's not an actual like it's not a device. hardware it's not no but i'm like I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see right, it's like what is like like what is it going to do that it just replaces like steam like because Steam that's, is so set in its place and it, it does what it does. That's what I was thinking well. about. It's definitely what he was going to, though. 
you can play on your phone, you can play on your TV, you can play on your tablet, anywhere you'll be able to play it, which is pretty insane. So you'll be playing Odyssey on the go. And I want to play Odyssey on my phone. I know, it's going to look like garbage. <laughs> but no, that's what, it? that's what it's not going to look like garbage, apparently. 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 We are in 2019, Hank. This is the future. Like the future. <laughs> if they showed something like uh, like Overwatch or something, like this like really quick pace, you know, um, multiplayer game, not mm -hmm. like a first person, not, not first person, just a single player yeah, game. Yeah, stuff, stuff that requires multiplayer. Right, and like that's you need like exact question. movements, then I would have been a lot more impressed. But that's the question we'll that we all have. Yes. So they have single yet player games are fine, but when we get into multiplayer online games, then mm -hmm. I need to make problem. sure I'm getting that headshot. Uh, what games do I play? Apex. 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 Apex, <laughs> yeah. Apex on Stadia. Eight. Halo 2. Oh, God. We're going back. <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see what this could be. Yeah. It could be a total bust, or it could be. I mean, I trust Google. That's a do big company to do it. I don't want to trust Google. And I think I Apple's Google. trying to get involved too. Well, that's what Apple. I'm saying. With if they come out, the Xbox said they're going to have a big E3 as well, and they announced the X Cloud not too long ago, and that's pretty much the Google Stadia, but you're going to be able to play Xbox Game Pass games, mm -hmm. from what I'm assuming. Okay. So they already have their library in place. If you can just stream those games anywhere, that'd be big. Yeah, well now you're gonna get to stream Angry Birds and Clash Clans anywhere with the Apple when they release their version. That's true. Uh, but that's interesting. I mean, we've talked about how we thought streaming services were gonna take over gaming, but I never considered Google or Apple getting involved, but why not? Maybe Disney will get involved too with all the I things that they're going to do. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Disney's like, all of our games? Yeah, you can't play them on anywhere else other than <laughs> our streaming service. Yeah, you want to play Kingdom Hearts and uh, Kingdom Hearts? It's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can play Disney Infinity? <laughs> um, so what, what else are we talking about? Um, Some of the latest news here with, we got games. We have packs going on right now, mm -hmm. and there's a couple games being announced, like Borderlands and stuff, but we super, don't. Super, super excited. We don't know too much about it. I mean, they're announcing the full thing. That's yeah, we're we're today. we're a little early. Yeah. Uh, By the time this comes out, you'll already so, know, but we won't. Yeah. yeah. Our future selves will know. Yeah. I hope. I mean, it has to be Borderlands Three. It's Borderlands. No, like, it it's Borderlands. there's no uh, doubt it's like, Borderlands. Let's 3. make our prediction but, but, but now. I'm saying, like, I saw people say that <laughs> it's just going to be a free to play. Like, some people think that if it was a plot no. twist and it wasn't. Borderlands they 3. showed off. They showed off the four new, the four new classes. They showed off all the old characters. What if it's like Apex? They showed off the two new villains. That's, what if it's like Apex, but it's from, Borderlands? From what I heard, it's going to be another battle royale. Yeah, I want but Borderlands. But they don't 3. know that. They're like, no, we need more battle royale. Battle royales. No. From what I heard, it's going to be Borderlands. Please don't let it be battle royale. You're going to be able to like create a character and whatnot. And there's gonna, you're gonna have. I don't like that. I like the I four. Know. I like the four individual characters That's because they go on to become characters in the later games. That's what I heard. This is this a moment. Make your boldest prediction that you can right now for what's going to happen in a couple hours. Uh, I don't want your we'll realistic you. prediction. I want your bold. My my prediction. prediction and we prediction. talked about this the other day. Was my prediction is they're going to announce that it's coming out in like either a week or like a month or something. It's not going to be like, hey, it's out now because they have to send out physical copies and people would have already figured that out by now. So it's going to be like, hey, it's coming out like April. What's your bold prediction, Nathan? I mean, I already said it. I think there's this, they see that Battle Royales are still the hottest topic. It's and so Borderlands, and the world of Borderlands, with all the vehicles that you can have and all the enemies and everything, that and a survival There's going to be 20 playable characters. it's going to be just the Battle Royale game. I don't know if 20 it's classes be. would be awesome. I, hope, I assume that it's just going to be Borderlands 3, but either way, Battle Royale with Borderlands will be involved. You ready for this one? Because we didn't think Tetris was going to have a Battle Royale, so... Borderlands That's is like, you know what? We have the weapons. You have all kind of the crazy weapons that you can use. The characters, the animation, the world. Boom. Everyone's Borderlands on, Battle Royale. Everyone's on a Battle Royale uh, craze right now. You know, it's getting out of hand. I'm, it's going it, to, you know, there's going to be peaks and valleys. So we're not going that way, though. They say we're in the valley because Apex is dominating. We're not beating Apex. They understand that. Yeah, Where are they going? Strategy game. Oh, that's right. God. We're getting old. Point and click. We're going we're back getting, to point getting, and click. We're getting a claptrap uh, little army. You can just send like 40 oh, of them out. God. You can get no. your little handsome. I say jacks. horde mode. I want oh, a horde man. mode. That would be a almost... lot more than I believe. Nope. Right strategy now. mode. <laughs> that would be worse strategy than the mode. pop announcement. Strategy. Uh, you wait. The pop figure announcement for during It's E3. a date simulator with <laughs> Borderlands characters. It's a. What's that? What's the. Uh, uh, the seducer game on. Uh, 
Steam? Uh, they do the videos all the time. Anyway, it's Dark it's Souls that. Borderlands. That's what's my bold Dodge prediction. the bullets. My bold prediction is going to be <clears throat> Borderlands 3 with a few new features. These aren't even bold. Four, four player co op. None of you guys are bold. Mine's bold. Did the last Mine one was bold? Yours isn't bold. You, you, you it's going to happen. Gonna, that's gonna be, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you can play online with friends. They saw Apex Legends. They're like, we want money. They saw Apex Legends. They're like, we could do that. I just don't think they're going to change up the formula at all. Because it's worked in the past, no, there's, and it might work in the future. There's going to we'll be... See. No, Borderlands is such a specific, like, sorry. No, you're good. Sorry. No, you're fine. Borderlands is such a specific, like, like it very, it fits its, like, little niche, like, community, and it's it does really it well. It is the original like it. Looter, looter Shooter. Shooter. Yeah. Which, speaking of Looter Shooters, I've been playing The Division 2, and that's a great game. <laughs> hey, what you guys playing? All right, we're going to that. Yeah. yeah. Let's just so you're jump that. So, I mean, I'm playing The Division 2. I beat the main story. I'm in the end game now. I'm almost max level end game. We're in the end game now. And it's, I feel like it is the game that everyone right now is just passing up. Mm -hmm. But it's actually like really good. It's really solid. And they have improved on like almost everything from Division 1. And I'll uh, pick it up when they put it on sale. Same. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely because they're free content yearly now. So like this whole first year, they just planned out like a whole year of content that's all free for that's you. Smart. Which is really cool, and there's already a ton of content in the game, but yeah, that's what I've been playing. What you playing, Ryan? Oh, uh, I see. The last couple weeks, it's just been Apex, Apex, Apex. I need a change in my life. So Matt Willard here. We're account sharing on Steam, and uh, you know, I'm finally playing a game that I tried playing a long time ago, couldn't get into it, and now I love it. The Witcher Three. It's taken a very long time. Came back. I said, going back to what is that? 2015. 2015. That game is that old? I was yeah. just, I was just craving an RPG open world game, and I'm like, I need to play something. I was like, I'm gonna pay forty dollars. Matt's like, it's oh, gonna I'm take gonna you a year to beat that game. Oh, I'm it's almost so done with it. The DLC. Well, so I mean, long. yeah, not it's all fun. that stuff. I'm almost done with the main story, I should say. Um, but yeah, great game. I also won in Apex last night. Humble brag. Uh, thanks, Jeff, if you're watching. <laughs> And uh, it was literally only him and me. We didn't even have another teammate, and we dominated. We had one kill each, but we got the last two kills. Every time we, we do this segment, he has to plug what he's doing in Apex. Yeah. Because I'm good, baby. It's Apex. 245 kills. Did you buy the Battle Pass? So, Nathan, yeah, what are you playing? We play. Uh, so I just bought like, the Battle Pass. Just like Ryan, right there. Uh, I was playing a lot of, you know, same old, same old, Dead by Daylight, Madden, the same of the games that I've been playing all the time. I was like, you know what? I need a little RPG in my life, too. And he's playing Witcher 3. He's like, oh, I have an idea. I'll play Fable 2. <laughs> Fable, back to 2. Fable 2. I got the back game to pass. Not as good as Fable 1. When did Fable 2 come out? That was I, uh, I don't 2007. Know, man. 2007? That 2007? Is that the same 08, year as Halo? Yeah. There, yeah. So Fable 2 was by far one of my favorite games of all time. 2007 one, one, one of, my, year one of the first game. games that ever got me into the RPG gaming area. Uh, so that I just love Fable 2 so much. Uh, it does, I mean, it's... Holds up, like I still enjoy the game, but you still see like some of the graphical issues and a lot of times when you're pressing. What are you playing this on? PC? No, I bought the Xbox Game Pass every Game spring. Game Pass. Every spring break. Every spring break. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, and I already have almost two million dollars because I've just rented out Not in life in the game. all of these Ooh. houses, and I'm the greatest real estate agent in Fable history now. Uh, so I'm, I'm loving the game. I'm already almost done with the main story, and I pretty much own every property in the game. What, what is so funny? Excellent. What are you playing, Hank? <laughs> <laughs> so I am playing a new RPG. I guess you can call it. Yeah, it's an RPG. I'm playing Sekiro, the Woo! new Dark Souls Woo! game, even though it's somewhat mm -hmm. different from Dark Souls and its gameplay. And a lot of people are mad about that, but they can suck it up. <laughs> suck it up. Looking at you. I mean, it's fun. It's a really fun RPG. The gameplay, it, it takes, if you've been playing, if you play all the Souls games like I have and most people of that franchise or fr fans of that franchise have, you really got to put in time to getting used to the, the deflecting and it, it's not all dodge, dodge for your life yeah. and quick stab, yeah. quick stab, quick stab. It's a lot of countering. It's a lot of parrying. It's all, it's so... Mm -hmm. But it's still in, it's still that Dark Souls like formula of like the setting, the characters, um, a lot of the items and stuff like that. It's just it's fun. I'm really yeah, that's it. that was that's why I'm trying so hard to get into it right now, just because it's it's I see it in the settings, I see it in the items. 
but it's like not as RPG as Dark Souls was. As you were saying, like, is it an RPG? Like how well, in depth Dark Souls was with that RPG element? I guess not, because you're not you're not creating your character yeah. anymore. It's a it's a you're playing a specific character, which I mean I'm. I'm upset. I, you know, it sucks that there's not going to be like there's no new weapons. He has, yeah. he has one weapon, but he can switch out his prosthetic arm for like different abilities. Mm -hmm. Is what it is. So there, there's no like. That's sorry, I'm the beginning. You're no longer just a blank slate character. He's he's the wolf. Yeah. Um, Which I can understand. Yeah. I'm just trying to like wrap my head around it he while also playing talks. it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's weird. That's an innovation too. right it's, there. The main oof. character talks. But I mean, so far I'm trying my best you guys to like. Don't know any, do you have you either? You played any of the? I played Fable Two because I know it would be. Did awful. you? I you tried playing Dark Souls. I played. Tra I tried playing Dark Souls. And yeah. Well, I, yeah I mean, I've I played all the Dark, Dark Souls, Souls as well. Yeah. But I'm just like, I'm trying my best to just try to get into it because I hear it's really good. Yeah. It's just I'm trying to wrap my head around this whole new gameplay mechanic because yeah. I didn't play like that in Dark Souls. That was like completely but you get a different. Grappling hook. That's true. That's yeah. so cool. It's cool. Batman, it's there's a lot of cool hug. features, and then there's a lot of cool features that they took out. And I'm like, ugh. Yeah, so. the, honestly, the only thing I'm, I'm upset is no longer there is, is multiplayer. Um, well, I mean, I am upset a lot of things aren't there. But multiplayer is gone because there is, you're not creating a character, so there isn't variety. Like, everybody yeah. unlocks the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what's the point of having multiplayer if everybody can just and that's why fights they don't the same it. way? Yeah. So. Well... That's all we have for you today on this episode of Birds of Play. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in two weeks for our next show, episode 73. We'll talk about Borderlands 3 when we get there. Yeah. We'll figure out who was correct. Most likely me. me. Yeah, we'll see. Strategy, baby. It's coming. <laughs> uh, alongside me, Pancake Graham. I'm Ryan Taronis. I'm Matt Willard. And I'm Nathan Dean. We'll see you guys next time on Birds of Play. Bye-bye. You've been burned three.